Welcome back to In Your Face Horror Guys. Today, we are going to be talking about the top five most believed urban legends. Before we get started with the video, guys, I would like to please remind you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. It's super simple. There's a tiny little voodoo doll in the corner right here. Uh, if you click it, you'll get the option to subscribe. Do it. Enjoy the video. This story is definitely one for the books. It goes as such. A man, lonely and bored, pulls out a nudie magazine. Dude flips to the back, looks for the prostitution phone numbers, and calls one up. She gets there, they spend a little quality time together, and before he even knew it, a few hours have passed. It was now quite late at night, and he was starting to feel a little dizzy, so he laid down on his bed to get a little bit of sleep. He slept hard through the night, but when he woke up in the morning, he didn't wake where he thought he would. He ended up waking up in his bathtub, which was filled with ice, and when he looked around the room, he noticed that he had a fresh incision on his side, right next to where his kidney should be. This story starts right in the middle of action. There's this girl, sitting on a chair in her living room, listening to an ominous dripping noise. The only comforting thing about the situation is that her dog was licking her hand to try to comfort her. She eventually gets up to investigate the noise and put her mind at ease. She gets to the kitchen where she discovers her slaughtered dog laying in a pool of blood. Near the pool, written in blood, were the words, humans can lick too. There are a few different versions of this story, but I'm gonna tell you the one that I grew up with. So there's this couple driving around in the middle of nowhere, way late at night, when on the radio they hear a bulletin of a murderer that has escaped. This murderer has a hooked hand. The woman doesn't really like what she's hearing, so she turns the radio off. Shortly thereafter, the car breaks down between a set of trees. The man, being all masculine and shit, decides to get out of the car to see what he can do with the problem. The woman began to feel a little anxious after a couple minutes, so she flicked on the radio. It wasn't very long after she turned on the radio that she began to hear a tap, tap, tapping on the roof of the vehicle. She decided to open the door and call for her partner's name. When he didn't respond, she stepped out of the vehicle and began looking around for him. As she turned to look at the other side of the vehicle, she noticed that something had fallen from the trees above. It tapped on the top of the vehicle, and that's when she looked up. Overhead was her partner, swinging from a rope, blood dripping, tap, tap, tapping on the roof. The Green Man, or Charlie No-Face as people knew him, was formerly known as Raymond Robinson. Raymond was severely injured in an electrical accident as a child, causing a disfiguration that no one would forget. He was so afraid that his face or rather lack thereof, would cause panic, so he decided to take his walks at nighttime. Many people have driven around parts of Pennsylvania way late at night in hope that they might come across the real man gone legend. Have you seen the green man? We all know the story of Bloody Mary, so I'm really not going to get into a whole lot on that aspect of it all. But what I am going to tell you is that it is a modern idea that when you look into the mirror and say her name many times, a bloody witch will appear. Originally, the story didn't go quite like that. Unwed women were told that they would see the face of their future husband, and if they saw a skull, well that means that they were destined to be alone forever. So what do you see in the mirror? Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, give us a big thumbs up. And if you really, really, really liked it, I'm gonna have to ask you to click this little voodoo doll in the corner. The voodoo doll is going to create a little pop-up which is going to ask you if you'd like to subscribe. Click yes, subscribe. Until next time, bye!